What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be jumping into Warzone and today we're gonna be talking about how to unlock the new OTS-9 submachine gun from Cold War for those of you that are free to play in Warzone. Now, I know not everybody has access to the full version of Cold War, so they don't even have the ability to do these challenges as easy, but I will let you guys know straight out the gate, it is definitely possible to complete these challenges if you're free to play. It is just gonna be a little bit more difficult so today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how to do this the easiest possible way. I'll even give you guys the class setup that I use to unlock this, as well as I'll even tell you guys where on the map you guys should land. So if you guys do enjoy this video at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys would like to find a way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button, also that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So first things first, in order to actually go out there and complete the challenge or even know what that challenge might be, you're going to have to go into your loadout. You're going to have to go to where you edit it, of course, and you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the SMG category, and that's where you're going to see the OTS-9. Now the challenge is going to read as follows. Using SMGs, kill two or more players rapidly in 15 different completed matches. So essentially, you just have to get a double kill in 15 different matches. doesn't matter if you get multiple in the same match, it's still going to only count towards one and obviously you're gonna do it. 15 matches is quite a few, so it is gonna take some time, but you guys will definitely be able to complete this, I believe it. So now that we know the challenge, you guys wanna get yourself the best opportunity to complete it. My recommendation for the game mode is gonna be plunder. I tell people this in all of the videos where I talk about challenges and how to unlock them. It's the best opportunity for you to complete it just for the simple fact that those matches can be longer. It gives you more chances to actually get, you know, your progress tallied on before the end of the match. Because obviously if you jump into a match, and you spend 10 minutes trying to get it and your match ends and you don't get one it's just more matches that you're going to have to play instead of 15 then that turns into 16 because technically you played one already and you didn't get any progress towards your challenge so you want to avoid that but i highly recommend jumping into plunder it gives you a good amount of time to be able to go and get some progress on your challenge and allow you to have, be able to do it in 15 single matches instead of having to do more than that now obviously you're going to want to know where on the map you should go I recommend the same place in all of my videos as well I highly recommend you guys drop storage. It's always hot. It's where I go to record all of these videos, and I just never can get an end to the players that are coming toward me. Sometimes it's just insanely chaotic. I manage to get 20, 30, 40 kills sometimes in a match, so I feel like it'll be pretty reasonable for you guys to be able to at least get one double kill in your match. If it lasts for 15 minutes, that gives you quite a bit of time. If it lasts 20 minutes, gives you quite a bit of time as well. Now, being that this requires an SMG, I highly recommend you guys go out there and use the Cold War MP5. Now let's go ahead and jump into a class setup real quick that I use to make this an easy challenge. Alrighty, so real quick here for the muzzle, I'm rocking the ADC suppressor. For the laser, I have the Tiger Team Spotlight. For the stock, I'm rocking the Raider stock. And for our rear grip, the Serpent grip, and our ammunition, the 50 round drum. So now you guys have a solid setup to go out there and give this the best shot that you can. If you guys are more comfortable with any other SMG, you are more than welcome to use that. It will still count. As long as you're using an SMG and you're comfortable with it, this challenge should go by pretty easily. Something that also helps being that you're using an SMG and you're typically in running gun situations, running dead silence is obviously gonna make it a little bit easier. You're gonna be able to sneak, sneak up on an opponent. Sometimes you can take that person out, slide around the corner, another player doesn't know where you're at, you can sneak out real quick and the double kill will be just that simple. I will also say, of course, and if people always comment this on each and every one of these videos, you guys can definitely land at the end, go for the AFK players, but sometimes people have those exact same ideas as you, and then you just kind of waste some time and you're not able to really get it. Sometimes you'll actually land and get that double kill. That could be the fastest possible way to do it. It's just a matter of getting the luck of people being there when you get there. Also, of course, you guys are going to want to know a little bit about some things that could cause your challenge to bug out, which you just don't want to happen. You don't want to have to do this challenge more than once. You most definitely don't want to have progress towards your challenge not count. So avoid leaving your matches at any cost. If you get into a match and you get your progress tallied on, stay through to the end of the match no matter what. Just ensure that that gets counted because you just don't want to have any issues. Sometimes if you leave a match, it bugs out and your next match doesn't count and a match after that. Sometimes you have to, you know, restart your game and go through all of it. Just wasting time essentially at that point. And that's what you're kind of trying to avoid here. It's the easiest possible way to unlock this, not the longest possible way to unlock this. So essentially stay through to the end of your matches and you guys should run into very few mistakes. Now I will tell you guys, just based on comments that I've gotten, if you choose to leave some of your matches, you could cause your challenge to bug out. It might even tally all the way up, say your challenge is completed and then completely reset. And that would just be a completely frustrating situation. So you guys want to avoid that, stay through to the end of the matches, go out there with your MP5 from Cold War, get your double kill, and get your OTS-9 submachine gun on top. So that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all 
in the next one. Peace.